A lot of people write to me and they say that the football in their country is too political, it's about who you know, there's no opportunity here, the coach doesn't like me, the coach doesn't play me, I should be playing in, instead of this player. He's just been at the club for so long and that's why he's playing. His father is friends with this coach. But at the end of the day, what I've come to realise, and I've been guilty of saying stuff like this in the past, it may be hard to accept, but the reality is that these are all excuses. You are responsible. You are responsible for the situation that you are in. In the past, I've sat on the bench and I've thought to myself, I should definitely be playing. I'm better than this player. What is wrong with this coach? But at the end of the day, it's not like I'm so much better than this other player. Just imagine if Lukaku came down to your football team and let's just imagine that no one knew about him. And let's just say you're in the reserves. He scores a hat-trick. Next week, he scores a hat-trick again. The week after, four goals. All of a sudden, the first team coach, he hears about this player. He said, let's give this guy, let's give this boy a chance in the first team. He comes and he scores goals again. And all of a sudden, other clubs are hearing about him. And that's how he moves up. If you are an incredible player, if you are so much better than others, you will get noticed, I'm sure of it. But the reality is that 99% of you are not. Maybe you're a little bit, little bit better, but it's not enough. I've got a friend, Kato, he was a refugee from the Congo, and he came to Australia when he was 16 or 17. And he started off with no contacts, he was playing in a reserve team, and he started scoring goals, and then other teams picked him up, and he scored more goals and became the top goal scorer of the state the golden boot. He started with no contacts, but in the end he did really well for himself. If you're a young player, you've got to realise that becoming a professional footballer is so difficult. Look at Australia for example, you've only got 11 professional teams, that's 300 professional footballers and around 100 of them are foreigners. So you've only got 200 local spots from thousands of players. So the percentage is so, so small. Even if you go to Thailand, you have to compete for foreign spots. And it is difficult. You're playing, competing against players that are coming from Africa, from Eastern Europe, that are there just so they can find a job to support their family, not to support some dream of becoming a footballer. And that's the difference in, in their mentality. They need to make it. Like I said before, if you want to be better, then you've got to train hard, you've got to work on your technique, you've got to analyse your game, you've got to always continue learning, learn from better players, watch football games and learn from that. Do all that and see where that takes you. Be patient because not everything comes instantly. Alright guys, until next time, ciao.